Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to bring your drawing, photo, any image to life by creating an animation in Blender and adding volume to your 2D image. And it's not difficult, you just need a little perseverance and a desire to create. Even with a little experience in Blender, you can make beautiful animations. Watch to the end to find out how. Animation creation is divided into several stages. First, preparing your image, separating key elements such as the background, character, individual background details, etc. Second, getting started in Blender importing prepared PNGs, creating a volume effect by deforming the image. Third, getting started with animating objects. Fourth, finishing touches, bug fixes, effects, post-processing. Fifth, the final stage, rendering the resulting animation. There is also a step that I won't mention in this video that is between second and third, which is creating and adding bones for a character or objects. I will mention this step in a separate video on creating a character animation, so subscribe so you don't miss it. Let's get started. The first step is done in Photoshop. I will use my own drawing as an example, but you can try to animate any other image. For the drawing, I add a little extra space by making the canvas bigger. Then I use the lasso tool, select an object with it, in this case a house. Press the right mouse button and select layer via copy. I do not advise you to select the layer via cut option, sometimes because of this, bright white edges appear on the separated image in the blender. We separate in this way each object in the figure, to which we want to set the volume and animate. Also here I draw the empty edges of the clouds and expand the cloud in the foreground, drawing the part that is not visible behind the house, in order to make it easier to join the house and the cloud in Blender. I create a background by painting over all objects, you can also use the fill tool on a new layer to create a background. After the image objects are separated into different layers, we can save them, each layer separately, the cloud in the foreground, the cloud in the background, the house, and the background as the sky. For convenience, name each layer and PNG file, create a separate folder for them. Now we can get to work in Blender. First, go to the Edit, Preferences section, in the window that opens, find the Add-on section, select it, write, Images as Planes, in the search bar, check the box to enable the add-in, we can close the window. Delete the cube. Hey. We set the frames per second settings we need in advance in the Output Properties window. Now we can add our images, click Add, Image, Images as Planes. We find the folder in which we saved each layer, select everything by holding Shift. Also in the Settings side window, choose the shader that suits you, I basically choose Shadeless, in this case the images will not be affected by the light in the scene. After that, you can arrange the layers in the scene as you wish, so that it looks like the original image. You can switch the display method in the viewport and turn off the floor or guides, change the settings as you like in the upper right corner. Select an object. Click on Material Properties. Scroll down to the Settings section, in the Blend Mode line, set Alpha Clip and Shadow Methods set to None, so for each layer. But of course you can experiment with the settings. Some objects with which you are not currently working can be hidden so that they do not interfere. Even at this stage, you can already create an animation with a parallax effect. But if you want to add more volume to objects, then we start converting our 2D layer into a 3D object. Select our layer, then in the upper left corner select edit mode. 
Start working with the knife tool, select it. Outline the image along its borders. Select the points along the edges, holding down shift, and delete them. We continue to divide our house into zones in which we will bend, stretch and deform it. Here I made a small mistake, going to the details, more precisely to the windows, ahead of time. First, it's better to start working on the general plan, extrude the walls along the x-axis, give the general shape of our house in 3D space, and then move on to windows, doors, etc. In general, do not select the details with the knife tool at the very beginning. To add volume, we select the points that we want to move in space and drag them. Thus, gradually we add volume to our house, set the shape of the facade, the roof. Adding volume may take some time, but it is a very meditative process, relax and enjoy it. When we are done with the main form, we can move on to the details, press in the windows, set the volume of the canopy and the door. We do all the same manipulations with the clouds, only this time everything is a little simpler than with the house. Outline the image with knife tool, divide into zones, select the necessary points, drag and drop, and our 3D cloud is ready. Also in the edit mode, you can change the shape of the object, stretch some areas, for example, if an object that enters the frame is unnaturally cut off on one side. When our image has successfully turned into a 3D scene, we can start working on animation. Let's start with the camera setup. Press the NumPad 0 key to turn on the camera view, then open the side tab, pull it out or press the N key on the keyboard. Find the view section and check the box next to camera to view. So we can control the camera from the first person. We adjust the frame, the focal length of the camera, we move or change the size of objects so that they are placed in the frame most successfully. I also copied the cloud so that the sky in the background is not so empty, it also adds variety to the perspective. Finally, let's start animating. Open the timeline, it is located at the very bottom of the Blender interface. We select our camera, as we will animate it. Put it in the position from which you want to start the animation and press the I key, the selection menu will open, we need location and rotation, select it. An orange ROM will appear on the timeline, this is the frame we just set. To set a new frame, move the blue pointer or the orange ROM, as I did. Press I again and select Available. Congratulations, our first animation is ready. Also for convenience, click on the white dot above the timeline, this is auto keying. It will automatically set keyframes and replace their data when you move or rotate objects. Don't forget to turn auto keying off when moving objects that you don't want to animate or have finished animating. You can increase the number of frames on the timeline, this determines how long your animation will last. Almost anything can be animated in Blender. If you see a white dot next to any settings, then it can be animated, just click on it and change the settings with auto keying. In this animation, I changed the focal length of the camera, as well as the color and brightness of the light source at the end of the tunnel. Who is meowing? Hmm. Wow, this is my page on Boosty. Here you can thank me for the work done. Order a drawing for yourself or your project. Subscribe for free and watch new exclusive content. Just chat with me or ask any question.
Many thanks to the people who support me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. The last steps to the final are left, here we polish our work and bring it to the ideal, perhaps correcting some mistakes. Let's set up all the necessary parameters in the output property section, I output the final render in AVI JPEG format. Resolution and quality 100%. Be sure to choose a folder convenient for you. You can also go to the Render Properties tab and in the Blooms section, this is a reflected glow from objects, turn the sliders here, select the option that suits you. Scroll down and go to Color Management, here you can adjust the gamma, contrast, etc. The last step is left. Render of our beautiful animation. If you have configured all the settings that I showed in the Output Properties tab and specified a folder for the video, then you can easily click on the Render tab and Render Animation. Now take a break, pour yourself some tea and enjoy every frame of your work. Thanks for watching, likes, and comments. I really appreciate any support. I wish you inspiration. Bye-bye.